Uh, good morning friends, second day, very early in the morning. It looks like the weather is yeah. not so bad. Yeah, well, morning red. Morning That's red. Uh, no, no, no. Apparently in the afternoon the weather will be very bad. Helen? We're staying at uh, Chateau Salon. Can really recommend it. Slept very well. Beautiful castle. Haven't really read yet about the history. But the restaurant is also amazing. Had a lovely, yeah. lovely meal last night, which is always super important when you walk. So really good, feeling well. I have uh, two small blisters. Yeah, but these are your side. traditional. These are my these traditional, are traditional blisters. blisters. <laughs> so for thousands, normal. for thousands of kilometers yeah. we hack together, you always have this. Uh, but Alex uh, put me put put some stuff on it so should be okay, he's my medical doctor. <laughs> okay, let's go. We need to go when to Port Alban, no, Alan? Yeah, yeah. Good morning, okay. we just arrived to Estavalle Le Lac. It's roughly 8 o'clock. We're walking now into town. We'll want to show you because it's uh, famous to have a medieval uh, castle. But for me, more importantly, I don't know how about you, Alex. I'm looking for breakfast because at the... Uh, Chateau that you were saying at the castle they only serve uh, breakfast at eight o'clock that's too late, too late when you hike today should be a fairly easy day 12 kilometers that's good it's an easy day because the weather will yes, change in yes, the afternoon will yes. be a little bit uh, cloudy and, and probably rain. rainy so it's Come good in. that we have a short day but the price will be tomorrow yeah it will be longer but doesn't matter we will stop today in port alban uh, to be fairly flat from what I saw on the terrain uh, we're in good spirits yeah. I feel a little bit my blisters but not too bad so it should be okay well from my side just good morning and <laughs> we will talk later I need my breakfast now <laughs> my coffee and my croissant is very very important to stand today okay here we are this i want to show you this is what helen ordered this is a typical ovo maltine oval time oval time what we US. say in the us oval time mm -hmm. and um well i order just my daily nice coffee and a beautiful beautiful croissant this is the right way to start uh, hiking okay shouldn't take it too lazy though no <laughs> otherwise an easy day becomes uh, very difficult well sometimes the easy days in kilometers mm -hmm. in distance uh, are the most uh, hard days huh? okay. we will see how these 12 kilometers work
Okay, um, we have our first disappointment moment with the drone. Uh, when we pass the castle in uh, how is the town there? Estavayel Lac. Lac. Um, I take out the drone and I try to to fly to make an aerial footage from the castle, but the drone doesn't allow me to go more than 30 meters over the takeoff area and uh, the software asking me if I want to override the restriction and I said well okay let's go and see what happened and of course to do that I need to introduce my mobile phone and they need to call the the application automatically will submit a permission to fly the drone to the military airport of Payern something quite I will never receive the authorization for that that means no, but we don't want to risk and send my mobile phone whatsoever uh, good for DJ, uh, DJI uh, it's amazing how the safety works in these terms it's good because uh, if you override just for override the warnings uh, you could be in a legal in a legal problem especially in restricted areas and here in Europe you have restricted areas everyone everywhere I am a private pilot I have my PPL license and I, I took and I made my license here in Switzerland means I know perfectly how difficult it is uh, for civil aviation and now all the drone activity is very well regulated here that means no footage uh, with the drone for the castle but uh, anyway we are here we have a very nice um, weather at the moment and we are starting now um, our shore hike today in the afternoon maybe will rain as Helen explained early in the morning that means uh, we will just enjoy it I just stopped to put my jacket because this time of the year is usually in this kind of forest we have a lot of big mosquitoes and special flies some kind of flies when they bit you really bad <laughs> anyway I'm walking now I'm chasing Ellen because she continue means I'm turning <sighs> she didn't stop she preferred to continue she took the sticks and anyway we are just crossing some kind of water in both sides the lake is in that direction on my left uh, okay I saw Helen it's around 50 meters in front of me uh, beautiful day uh, long time without hiking so one of the reasons because we are doing this short walk is because uh, we are living in Thailand for almost two years and in the middle of the COVID this is not so nice what? we don't have the chance to do any hiking in, in Southeast Asia everything is closed what the hell is ah yes We are leaving Chevro at the moment 
it's just one hour and 20 minutes maximum to Port Alban and this is a, a special elevated path in the natural reserve here Ellen, how things are going? Yes, going well, except for my blisters, they hurt when I start walking, but once I warm up it's okay. And it's very nice and fresh to be in this forest. And I'm looking forward to a nice lunch once we reach uh, Port Alban. Oh yeah, we have the we option to return to the, uh, to the last the restaurant we've yeah, been. Yeah, where we just stopped for uh, something to drink. Or, or maybe we go to the lake. In the lake is a restaurant like called something. La Salamandra. Yeah, we saw that we liked. But I mean, wait, let's wait and see. The good thing is that we made an effort to park the car in Port Alban and then took a bus and two trains to where we started this morning, Estavalle Le Lac. Uh, yeah. Maybe easier to do differently, but the good thing is that when we arrive to Port Alban, car will be there and we will be ready to head out uh, for lunch before we return to the, to the castle. That's it. Voilà. This is a small claim, climb to the plateau of Port Alban, if I'm not wrong. Oh. Yeah. Short. Sure up. Yeah. the only one, huh? 
The only, yeah, this, it was flat. It's actually good to stretch legs differently. Okay, now we must go to the car and then it's finished and we will go for a nice lunch to the Salamandre restaurant on the lake. And if the restaurant is not good or doesn't look so good, we will back to... How was the name? Chevron? No, no, Hotel du Jura in Chevron. In Hotel du Jura. Chevron. My God, my French. <laughs> doesn't exist. Anyway, another beautiful day. In the afternoon they say it will be covered and maybe rain. I don't know how. <laughs> but uh, you never know. It's Central Europe where it can change very fast. Voila! This is Portalban. We are going down now from the upper plateau. They move us. And we are going with the car is parked, which is more or less another 200 meters from here. And we finish. That are the ovals. And this morning we crossed to take the bus.